in this code.org lesson. It is code. It is project. It's the end of course project. Yep. Let's go. This is code.org in this lesson, end of course project. Oh, this is cool. So they're giving us some examples here. Neat. I might come back to these as we work. You definitely want to look through these and check them out. And then we have this one as well. Run. Oh, cool. Do I click? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Do I move? No. Yes. Whoa, look at this game. <gasps> Wait, is the robot bad? <gasps> uh oh. That was not nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, still, still didn't do it. All right, but I'll probably go back and reference these as we get going here. And let's do that. Onward. All right, so we've definitely learned a lot. Let's make a game. Using new blocks in your toolbox, choose a new background, then pick the actor to be used. Oh, awesome. So this is, ooh, I'm just going to pick a <gasps> cave night. What's cloudy? Well, you know what? Actually, I want to do cloudy. Oh my gosh, a dragon, because it's kind of up in the clouds. Yep, yep. Onward. Get the player to the targets to complete the puzzle. Okay, so we're going to use event blocks. Okay, so I have a player that I can't move at all. Got it. All right, so when I click up, this is the event, and then what should I do, right? So when I click the up arrow, hmm... Oh, wait a minute. Move the actor up one. So when I click run, what happens? Well, it changes to cloudy and it shows my dragon, right? So this is the event clicking run in a way, starting the program. When I click up, what happens? Boom. Okay, so that's working all right. Now let's do the other directions. Boom. Maybe. Down. Left and right. Move. A uh, move. And a move. What direction? Down, left, and right. Shocking. I know. Let's go. Wah. Go, dragon, go. Okay, my dragon's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Quapow. Onward. Let's add some more characters to your game. Use the set actor block to add more characters. Then move to the goal to complete your puzzle. Okay, so we can just, cool, set no, set every, wait. wait, oh, there it is. So we can add some more. Uh, two of, ooh, what should be with my dragon? Well, I'm in the sky, a flying unicorn. That sounds pretty good to me. And then let's do one more, just because this is one for this guy. Ooh, alien it is. Let's see. Wait, where's my dragon? Oh, oh, that's not the number. That's, th okay, so set actor three. Actor three will be an alien. Yikes, I was overwriting my old stuff. Cool, onward. All right, multiple characters and getting the actors moving is a great start to the game. But we need to do more to make it feel like a real game. Let's add a score. Use event blocks like when actor touches to change the score. Okay, score five points to complete this. Oh, okay. So when actor touches. Okay, when actor touches is the event. And what should I say? When actor, okay, how about when the dragon gets the unicorn? Oh, so I'm actor one is my dragon. And it gets to actor two. So when the dragon touches actor two, score a point. Awesome. And then I'll do the same, I guess. Oh, clicked. No, touches. For this one, right? When dragon actor three, score a point. So just like when I click up, this will happen. I move up. When actor one touches actor two, I should score a point now. Yeah. Let's go down over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, champion, onward. Great job, you have all the, all the basic components. Now spend some time making sure the game works the way you want it to when you're done click finish. Ooh, we can just have fun. I'm gonna add a bunch of stuff and talk about it when I'm done.
All right, so what I did, well, let's play and see if it works. Best game ever. Click, yeah, yeah. Scored 10. Whoop, and notice that one jumped. And every five seconds, the unicorn will jump somewhere. Repeat forever, and every set actor two to random position every five seconds. And then I said, if I get actor two, I made that actor worth. 10 points. The other thing I did was I put my intro screen, drag and tag, best game ever when I start, when I run it, and my actor 3 now has a random image. If I touch the actor, I score a point because code runs in order. I change the actor 3 to a random image when I touch him and a random position. And that's why, and whoop, every time I touch him, he jumps and changes. But the unicorn, right, only changes every five seconds, even if I touch it. Jumps around the screen. Pretty cool. I hope your game's fun, too. Onward. Ooh, a whole area just to play? Awesome. I'm going to be doing this way too long. Go! I hope you have a lot of fun with your game.